Here's kind of a tricky problem. We're given the wattage rating, or the power, of a small immersion heater as 375 watts. And remember that a watt is equal to one joule per second. It is energy divided by time. So this problem is asking for the amount of time it takes to heat up a cup of soup. It's basically asking for the amount of time it takes to add a certain amount of energy to the cup of soup in joules or kilocalories or whatever of unit of energy you prefer. So to solve this problem, the first step would be to find out how much energy is being added to the soup as it's heated up from 15 degrees to 75 degrees. And the way we can convert this into energy is by using the definition of the kilocalorie. Because remember that one kilocalorie is equal to the amount of energy it takes to raise one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. So let's take the mass of the soup, multiply it by its change in temperature, and then go from there. So, we know that we have two point, or 250 milliliters of water. In liters, that is 0 0.25 liters of soup. So that is 0.25. And something that's helpful to remember is that one liter of water is equal to one kilogram. So that's 0.25 kilograms. And we multiply this by the change in temperature. So we go from 15 degrees to 75 degrees. That's an increase by 60 degrees. So 60 degrees Celsius. So this is the mass times the temperature. And we can convert this into energy using the kilocalorie formula. Because one kilocalorie is equal to one kilogram times one degree Celsius. So this will convert us from kilograms into kilocalories, which is a unit of energy. But when, we're, but when we're dealing with watts, it's more helpful to have this in units of joules because one watt is joules per second. So now let's convert this from kilocalories into joules because one kilocalorie is equal to 4,186 joules. And finally, we'll use the wattage that we're given to convert from joules into seconds. Because 375 joules is equivalent to one second, according to the power that we're shown. So if we put all this into a calculator, then we find a time of about 167 seconds. This can be rounded as 170 seconds. And I'm not sure what units of time the problem wants us to find this in, but if you divide this by 60, then we see that this is equivalent to 2.8 minutes. And so these are our answers to this problem. And that is it for this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing or donating to my Patreon, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.